chapter 10 sequence in series what is the sequence I am writing one sequence. Let's say it is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 1, 10, 1. So these are numbers. A set of numbers written in a or arranged in a definite order according to some definite rule. It is called a sequence. A set of numbers arranged in a definite order according to some definite rule. It is called a sequence. So here you know the last term, so it is called finite sequence. This is called finite sequence. Same I am writing 8, 5, 2, minus 1 and so on. Here you don't know the last term, so it is an infinite sequence. So again I am repeating, a set of numbers arranged in a definite order according to some definite rule, it is called a sequence. Now, here it is 3, here it is 5. So you know, let's say this is n minus 1th term and this will be what? nth term. So if you want nth term, nth term, let's say this is a n. nth term is a n. So you can write a n minus 1 plus 2. This previous term, if you add, add 2, you will get the next term. Same if let's say this the term you want. So this term plus 2 you will do, you will get 7. 7 plus 2, 9. Like this, let's say this is n minus 1 term and this will be nth term. So a n. You will get the nth term by adding plus 2 in the previous term. So you can derive one formula and write the next terms with the explicit formula. So you can say this is called a progression. If you can find the terms with the explicit formula, you can say this is also called a progression. Same you can see here, if you want 5. So 8, you will subtract minus 3, then you will get 5. 5 minus 3 will do, you will get 2. So with the explicit formula, you can write the terms of the sequence. These are numbers which are arranged in a definite order. You can say these terms also. These are also called terms of a sequence. And if you can find the terms like which will come here like 3, 5, 7, 9, 11 like this which term which will come here which term will come here so by explicit formula then it is called a progression this is called a progression now same I can write for here also formula I can write if I want an a nth term I want this nth term so let's say this is n minus 1 term so if I will do a n minus 1 so 8 and next term is what 5 I want 5 so what will I do 8 minus 3, so minus 3. This is a formula, explicit formula for finding the terms of this sequence. So, this is also called a progression. Now, one more I am writing, one more sequence I am writing. Let's say 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 and so on. It is a sequence. It is a sequence. But it is not a set of numbers arranged in a definite order according to some definite rule. You know here. This definite rule is there. Like all are what? Prime numbers. But I can't write explicit formula for finding the nth term. I know this is first prime number, this is second prime number, third prime number. And so if I want nth term, I will write an nth prime number. But I don't know the formula for nth prime number. So I can say it is not a progression. It is not a, it is a sequence, but it is not a progression because I can't write explicit formula for, for finding the nth term. It is clear. So if I have to find nth term, so I can write, it is nth prime number. This is first prime number, second prime number, like this nth term will be what? nth prime number. But explicit formula we don't have. That's why we will say that it is not a progression. It is a sequence but it is not a progression. Now, one more I am writing. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, like this, 13, and so It is called a Fibonacci sequence. What is it? Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence. 
it is called it is also a progression this is a progression why you know if you want this term 1 plus 1 is what 2 1 plus 2 is what 3 2 plus 3 is what 5 3 plus 5 is what 8 5 plus 8 is what 13 8 plus 13 will be 21 like this it will go out. so by explicit formula you can write the number of means terms you can write in a sequence you can write the terms so this is called fibonacci sequence and it is also a pro it is a progression but this is not a progression this is a progression fibonacci sequence now sequence is clear now i'll teach you what is a series what is a series series let's say any sequence you take if the terms of a sequence are connected by plus sign then we'll say this is called a series let's say a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus and so on plus a all terms are written a1 a2 till a and it is a series is it before we were writing like this a1 comma a2 comma a3 like this so these these were called terms in a sequence separated by commas but i am writing a plus sign between them so if the terms of a sequence are connected by plus signs then we call this series it is a series of n terms series of n terms so let's say if i have to add all these terms like i have to do sum of all these terms so i will say s n sum of all n terms denotes if s n denotes the sum of n terms of a sequence n terms of a sequence or series n terms of a sequence then one formula i am writing which you will use in exercise 10.1 s n minus s n minus 1 means sum of all n terms minus sum of n minus 1 terms leave this last one till n minus 1 term if it add you will get the nth term this is the formula very important formula s n minus s n minus 1 is equal to a n you will get nth term is it clear because you know s n will be what A one plus A two plus A three plus till plus A n minus. This will be what? A one plus A two plus A three plus till plus A n minus one. One less term. So you know A one plus A two plus A three. This will be cancelled by. It will be like this. A one plus A two plus A three plus n one plus A n minus A one minus A two minus A three minus n one minus A n minus one. Is it clear? Here also plus a n so previous term will be what a n minus one plus so this 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 only this will live here only this will live this will be left a n so a a one is cancelled out with a minus a one a two minus a two a three minus a three this a n minus one and this negative of a n minus one is cancelled out now only a n is left so we will get a n so if you can find sum of n terms minus sum of n minus 1 terms you will get the nth term like this we will solve in exercise 10.1 thank you